All right, welcome to Vox's Outdoor Adventures. As the uh, title says, I did a little bit of night fishing, um, had a little success. Um, unfortunately, none of the fish that I uh, caught were on video, but uh, the two gentlemen that were beside us that were in a catfish tournament, um, I'll show you a video of them uh, catching their, uh, it's probably about a four and a half pound uh, channel cat. Uh, the one you see that uh, I'm holding, um, it's probably about a one and a half, maybe two pound. Um, before we get to that video, I want to show you a little bit about uh, what I'm doing, uh, trying to set up the kayak and uh, uh, doing a little bit of upgrades on it. So I'll show you that here in a second. Hey guys, so here's my kayak. It's a, uh, it's a Pelican. Um, it's an Ultimate 100 SE. Now, um, they do have one that is actually uh, set up for fishing. Uh, this one, you can actually make it into a fishing one. It's got some rod holder things right here. There's no brackets on it. Um, and then up here, you can put a, uh, one of those uh, fishing holders on it like that. So, you've probably already seen them all. I'm not going to go, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do every little thing that I did, but as I... I uh, adjust uh, this and, and do modifications. Um, I'll just kind of show you where we're at. Hopefully you'll see me uh, on the lake fishing with it. Right now, basically, I just put the rod down and through here, kind of paddle myself out there. So uh, a few things I want to do is I'll put a uh, paddle holder on this side. I want to do a, um, a trolley anchor system. Um, right now, I've just been kind of working on this piece right here um, all I did is I took a milk crate um, it's all zip tied for right now but I had to put two cross pieces so it fit over this hall here then what I found out was it wanted to slide back and forth so then what I did was I just cut halfway cut this so this holds it inside here from going back might try and see, you know, it's all zip tied on there. And then uh, two rod holders on either side. Um, I see on YouTube there's some things you can put lids on here and stuff like that. I might do that as well. Um, I plan on on the front part right there in front of me. Um, that's where I'm going to actually put uh, all my... Um, Plastics and jigs and hooks and stuff like that all my tack um, So how this works I took the uh, these bands here They'll actually go on like that S hooks right here Hooks that in This one here Hooks that in so There you have it that's on there um, just bought this little rod here. This will be kind of nice. So when I go on the, uh, the river, um, a lot of times <clears throat> we're going under, under branches and trees and stuff like that, that, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's small enough. I can actually just put it right beside me, take it out, be able to fish. But, uh, that goes in right like that. I will be putting a carabiner on this, attaching it to that. So that way, if I do spill over. I won't lose my uh, fishing rods. I have one for the other side as well. So, uh, just got back from tractor supply. I got myself uh, some 550 paracord. I got a couple of the uh, pulleys uh, to get my uh, trolley system. Uh, just got to get a ring and. Um, I gotta get some uh, brackets uh, to uh, get that all set up. I hope to bring that to you. But, uh, so that's what I'm doing here, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get to do some fishing with that. Got to figure where to mount my action camera and stuff like that. So I'll be working on that as well. So uh, yeah, well enjoy this uh, little piece here with uh, the gentleman catching a catfish. Um, it is kind of hard to see. Like I said, it was night fishing, and uh, I also had uh, caught some crappie. Um, 
I have a picture of me holding the one. It was uh, 12 and a half inches. And uh, yeah, I got that catfish as well. Um, caught it on this ultralight right here. Um, it was a pretty fun time. Uh, it took me quite a while to get it in on six pound test without it breaking off. But, uh, all right, enjoy. And uh, hey, please guys, smash that like button for me. Um, you know, maybe put in the comments, you know, tell me what you guys, uh, you guys would like to see, um, when I'm out and about, you know, I do, uh, fish, I hunt, um, trap, uh, let me know. All right, guys, enjoy. All that work. So long. Nothing compared to the striper. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Good cat. Easy. There we go. Really good. <laughs> Fucking that guy. He's in charge of that. We never really discussed these birds or not. I don't know if I have them at all. Here it comes to the left. Get it down more and get like the whole half in. I can't move it then. I gotta be able to move it. Nice, man. This thing ain't give up. Yeah, you don't want to knock them off the hook. Good job, guys. Thank you for using the light. Yeah, no Put the light on that fish there. That's a good heavy one there. That's got to be a good five pounds, maybe. Two pounds. These ones have the bones that'll get you? Yeah. I think so. Holy effing bug. We got the hemos up there, Evan. That was on night call, Evan. Hey, that hook is right. It's out. The hook is up. Hook's out. Alright. Walk him up there. We got the strainer up there. Hey, we ain't getting skunked in this one. <laughs> 